Hi, I'm Chas with Chas's Crazy Creations. And today we're going to be making a new clothespin wreath. You can see the one that I made previously over here and you can find the tutorial for that one on my website at www.chascrazycreations.com. Today we'll be making a new one, so let's get started. To make this project, you're going to need a 14 inch wreath. This came from Dollar Tree. You'll need some clothespins, and you can either spray paint some wood ones, but I happen to find these plastic white ones for 50 cents at Walmart on clearance. And you're also gonna need a mirror, and I found this mirror at Dollar Tree as well. Okay, to get started, we are gonna take a plastic, or your choice of a clothespin, and the second little hole here is what we'll be working with. You're gonna clip it on the outside ring here and you're gonna tuck it underneath. So it goes underneath that second hole, that second rail right there like that. Here's one completed section. This took about 16 clothespins for this size wreath and these size um, clothespins. Not all wreaths and forms and clothespins are created equally, so each person's might vary a little bit. All right, keep going until you finish the whole circle. Here's the completed wreath with the bottom ring. Now we're gonna work on the next level. And so you're gonna take your clothespin, and again, now these top two right here, you're going to clip through, reaching that second hole all the way back. And so it leans on that third rail, hiding the third rail. So let me give you a close-up shot of that. Two rails, second one. And you'll just continue around with that. So this second section took, well, it took me about 12 clothespins to get through per section of wire. So now continue doing that all the way around until you get the whole top. So this is the top completed, and you can change and mix and match colors when you make one of these. You can do uh, um, wooden clothespins, you can paint your clothespins, you can dye your clothespins. So just lots of choices. So now let's finish this up. So right here, I left a little space here so you could see this. This little tag that came with this um, was already on the wreath form, so I'm leaving that to hang it with. And now what I'm gonna do is hook on my mirror. So what I've got here is some fish line and I'm just gonna tie the fish line with the mirror to the wreath form. Kinda going for a daisy look. So here it is all hung up and I'm really proud of the way it turned out. It reminds me of a daisy, which is one of my favorite flowers. I hope this inspired you to make a clothespin wreath of your own. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and thanks for watching. Bye.